There's been a lot of talk about Melisandre, the Red Woman, and her true form shown to us in Episode 1 this past Sunday. This video, I wanted to explore Melisandre, her true appearance, and her necklace. This is a show-only video, I know I have a lot of book readers, and in a separate video I will eventually discuss one of the biggest book-only Melisandre theories, so I'm not trying to snub the book readers, but for this video, it will just be about show Melisandre. So in episode 1, we see Melisandre in her room, looking utterly defeated. After the episode, during Inside the Episode, the showrunners confirm that Melisandre is taking the glamour off and showing her true self because just like her beauty and youth were lies, so were the visions and promises from the Lord of Light lies. At the end of this episode, she's in a place where she has to look at her real self in the eye and come to terms with where she now stands. This scene has caused a lot of speculation and fan theories about show Melisandre. A big theory I saw floating around was that Mel dropped her glamour in order to conserve her energy and get ready to perform some large magical feat, such as bringing back some person that just knows nothing. However, the showrunner's statements go directly against that theory, stating she wasn't conserving energy, but she was at her lowest point and wanted to see her true self, not a lie. Another theory is that Melisandre took off her necklace that was keeping her alive to essentially die. She lost her faith and just wants to be done. This again is countered by the showrunner's statement that she simply wanted to see her true self, not a lie. There's also the fact that the Game of Thrones trailers revealed scenes where Melisandre is still alive and talking, but appearing as her beautiful form. A third theory is that her necklace is directly tied to her glamour, and that taking it off reveals her true self. So let's take a look at Melisandre and her ruby necklace. We've been shown several times that Melisandre's amulet protects her, such as when Maester Cresson tried to poison her. She drinks from the glass, her ruby glows, and she is unharmed. Maester Cresson isn't so lucky. When Melisandre took her necklace off this past Sunday and her glamour dropped to reveal her true self, many felt that was a clear indication that her necklace hides her true form, just as her necklace does other things, such as survive poison. But some fans were quick to point out that Mel taking off her necklace in Season 6, Episode 1, and her glamour coming off doesn't make much sense. After all, we saw in a previous season Melisandre without her necklace in the bathtub scene with Celis, and there she looked just as beautiful as ever. Here's what I found to be an interesting thought on that Season 4 scene with the Red Woman and Celis. Melisandre is naked in her bath when Celis walks in on her. The Queen seems embarrassed and says she'll come back later. Mel tells her to stay, and the entire time, Celis looks uncomfortable. As if she wants to look away, but she can't quite do it. What if during this scene, Celis was seeing Melisandre's true form? What if as the audience, we still see a beautiful naked woman, but Celis is seeing Mel's true form? Watch that scene again from the perspective of Celis seeing a crone and not a youthful woman. It is a bit of a horrifying sight at first, probably shocking. But at the same time, she knew there was more to the Red Priestess, and this confirms it. Celis is a true believer of the Lord of Light. That one of his priestesses has the ability to glamour their appearance wouldn't be that surprising. It might even make her belief in Melisandre's power even greater, so much that Celis was willing to have her own daughter burned alive because of her faith in that woman. Though, of course, let's not discount how fanatical the Queen was. There's also a few other odd things about that bath scene. Melisandre is awfully smirky during this scene, as if she's enjoying Celis' discomfort while she is being incredibly polite to her. Is this because Melisandre knows she can see her true form and it entertains her? Or is it a now you know kind of smirk? Also during this scene, when Celis sees her, she has what I could only describe as an odd look on her face. It would make sense if she was an uptight religious person seeing a naked woman, but it almost seems like there's something else to her look like she's transfixed by Melisandre's body. Finally, at one point when looking down at Mel, a small smile plays on Celis' lips. Later in the scene, she would ask Melisandre about sleeping with her husband, something that bothered her. Looking back on the scene, I can't help but think this is a woman that might be slightly jealous of a person that slept with her husband and gave Stannis a child, and I use that word loosely, that helped him accomplish something. But when she sees Melisandre's true form, when she looks right at her after being uncomfortable and shocked at first, she may have had that slight smile for two reasons. One, she realizes Mel is the real deal, and her husband sleeping with the Red Woman was right, along with her strong belief in the Lord of Light. Two, the slight smile after her initial shock and in looking at Mel might be a 
<laughs> my husband didn't sleep with a gorgeous woman, but an elderly, frail woman. That might make you feel a little good. Looking back on the scene, I would honestly almost expect Celis to be more shocked, seeing this woman's true form, but Celis is a cold woman, and as mentioned before, this could have just solidified her belief in the Red Priestess and the Lord of Light. There's also their dialogue that adds more weight to this. Melisandre tells her that most jokes are lies, and that Celis is devoted to the truth. The Queen responds, looking down at Mel, if there's lies, best to avoid it. Melisandre smiles and responds, not always. Is this Melisandre telling the woman that she doesn't avoid this lie, her real appearance? Because it is necessary. This would make sense as she gets out of the tub after that line and begins talking about the tricks she uses to fool people into coming to the Lord of Light. She states that once someone steps into the light, they can see a lie for what it is, a trick that led them to the truth. Is this Melisandre explaining to Celis why she hides her true appearance? And as this talk about potions and lies continues, Celis listens to Mel and there are tears in her eyes. As Melisandre talks about a potion and says how it will drive a man wild with lust, the camera pans to Celis looking at Melisandre's butt. She looks disturbed at this point and questions Melisandre if she used a potion on Stannis. Celis looks relieved when she asks this. That explains why Stannis slept with Melisandre. But when Mel says she didn't need to, Celis looks a bit horrified. This horrified look could be because her excuse for her husband's infidelity was gone. After all, why pan to her looking at Melisandre's butt if she could tell she was a crone? Why would she look over Melisandre's naked form, unless she was jealous of Melisandre's body and having her husband? Well, what if she looked at Melisandre's naked body because she was seeing the woman's real form and was horrified by her husband sleeping with her? She at first smirked because her husband slept with someone less attractive and much older than her, then relieved that a potion made him do it, then horrified he didn't need one to sleep with Melisandre. So maybe this does explain the bathtub scene in season 4. Taking off her ruby does make Melisandre appear as she truly is. This also requires a lot of foresight on the showrunner's part, but they did admit that they knew her age before season 1 was written, and were waiting for the right moment to reveal it. Here's another theory. Melisandre's necklace doesn't create the glamour, but is a conduit to help her maintain it. If I can use a book reference for a moment, I know I said this was show only. Melisandre says in the books that she has used an item to focus a glamour. This could be interpreted as a special item, such as her necklace, maintains the illusion for her. Without it, maintaining the glamour takes more energy and focus. If this is true, it could also be used to explain the bath scene in season 4. If Celis wasn't seeing her as an old woman, but still as a youthful, beautiful woman. During the bath scene, Melisandre had the necklace off, but was exerting energy to keep up her appearance. She puts the necklace back on, so that it's easier to be glamoured. Another random thought, in Season 6, Episode 1, she has lost her faith in herself and the Lord of Light. She's cold, which she never is, and this demonstrates her powers and abilities have weakened with this loss of faith. Taking off the necklace at this point, something that helps her maintain her glamour easier but isn't necessary, could have been too much for her to maintain while her powers were weakened. So she let the glamour fall when the necklace came off. She didn't bother exerting the energy to keep the glamour up, even without the necklace. And if we go back to that bath scene again, Melisandre brings up her potions and how they can do a lot of things, including make people see what she wants them to see, basically lie to people. In Season 6, Episode 1, as she takes off her necklace, the camera focuses for a long time on some bottles on her table. One bottle is half empty. The focus on those bottles, and one being half empty, seems like a direct hint to us that the potions are what hide her true self, not necessarily the necklace. The necklace just might make it easier. So Melisandre could still have her glamour up during the bath scene without the necklace, and Cella seeing her as a beautiful, youthful woman still, because of her potions. So then in Season 6, did she stop taking her potions because of how depressed she was, and just let the rest of her magic fall to reveal herself? Here are my thoughts on Melisandre, her glamour, and both the end of Season 6, Episode 1, and the bath scene in Season 4. My guess is no, Celis isn't seeing Melisandre as an old woman during that scene. I see more of an uptight religious person with a slight jealousy for Melisandre. If the showrunners admit that Celis was looking at an aged Melisandre, I would be shocked given the other clues in the scene suggesting that she still looks young. I personally believe that Melisandre's illusion in the show is most likely a combination of potions, her necklace, and her own magic. Without one, it becomes harder to do, but still possible. Or two might be required, her magic and potions, 
and the necklace makes it easier or makes it so that she can maintain her glamour without exerting herself. She could use potions, her necklace, and her own abilities to not only hide her true self, but also extend her own life. So last Sunday, she could have simply been taking it off to rid herself of things that grant her abilities from the Lord of Light to just look at herself as she truly is. And I personally wouldn't be surprised if other magics keep her glamoured, and maybe the ruby just focuses it or gives it more power. However, I want to say again, if the showrunners do come out and say that they plan the bath scene that way, with Celis seeing her as an old woman, I would give them major props. So now wait, episode 2 is going to come out and Melisandre is going to reveal how her glamour works, and this video is pointless. But a labor of love, so I still enjoyed making it. What are your thoughts on show Melisandre? Unless you already watched episode 2 and you know that, then you're a cheater. Do you think Melisandre uses a variety of tricks? her necklace, potions, and own magic to make her appear not only youthful, but extend her life? Watch season 4, episode 7, and tell me if you think the queen can see her true form or not. Do you think the showrunner slipped up with the season 4 bath scene and Melisandre still appearing youthful without her necklace? Or do you think the necklace isn't what keeps her glamoured? Thumbs up on the video for Jon Snow's resurrection. If you don't believe Jon Snow is coming back, I told you in my last review to get out of here. I mean it. Get. Thank you for watching. Have a fabulous week, and come back for more Game of Thrones videos.